Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about Meghan Markle's favorite red lipsticks. Hello sat down with Daniel Martin, who in case you didn't know, is Meghan Markle's number one makeup artist. And he told us that these are the top three red lipsticks that he always keeps in his makeup kit. So first up, we have probably, I would say, the most famous red lipstick that money can buy, and that is Max Ruby Woo. It is an incredibly blue-toned matte shade, and it suits every skin tone. But one of the great things about this is it's a really powerful color. So if you're gonna wear a lipstick like this, it's going to be the center of your makeup. The only thing that I would suggest is perhaps to prep your lips first with some kind of lip scrub or lip balm because it is very drying, but it is totally worth it. Next up, we have The Lovely Dragon Girl by NARS. Just like Ruby Woo, this is definitely a shade that is really well known and lots of celebrities swear by it. It comes in a variety of different formulas. So if you're not into lipstick, you can also buy it in kind of a liquid form and also a lip gloss. Um, I really love this because the texture is super smooth, so it almost feels like a balm when you apply it, which is great for daytime use. Um, and the colour is slightly more muted, so it's not so in your face. And if you want a bit more of a subtle red, this is the one for you. Now, the last lipstick that Daniel recommended was by Makeup by Mario, who in case you didn't know, is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, so everyone knows who he is. And he's devised this incredible red lipstick, which also comes with a lip pencil in its own kit. So this is great for aligning your lips first and then adding the lip color afterwards. Again, it's very, very similar to the MAC lipstick that we first mentioned. Um, it's more of an orange tone lipstick, so it's great if you've got a tan because it really complements that kind of look. It's also, because it's this kind of suede texture, again, it's very matte when you apply it. So again, always make sure that you prep your lips first. This looks really winning with a lip gloss on the top for extra shine. So now we're going to be applying MAC Ruby Woo, which like I said, is an instantly recognizable red lipstick in the makeup world. Extremely matte, so you don't need too much. A little goes a long way. It's all about the application, so make sure that you are quite precise. So next up we have Makeup by Mario's Alicia. Now, as we know, this comes in a lip kit form, so it also comes with a pencil, which is great for applying. So you just gently apply it to the lip line. The feathery strokes will kind of ensure that the lipstick will stay in place all day. We have NARS Dragon Girl. Again, this is a super popular shade. Um, I've got this in the lipstick format and I'm just gonna show you how to apply it now. Now this one is, you glide it on and it's much more of a balmier consistency. So it's a little bit easier to apply straight to the lips. It just feels really kind of soft and supple on the lips. So I'm really loving this one. Okay, so that was Daniel Martin's favorite red lipsticks. We've had MAC, Makeup by Mario and NARS. Which one is your favorite? Personally, after trying all of these, I think I would have to go for the NARS Dragon Girl. I really like this one because I think the red is a little more subtle than the others. It's not quite as in your face. So I think it's easier to kind of work with in the daytime. Also, the texture is super smooth and much more balmy, which means it's a lot easier to apply. Um, it's always great to remember that red lipstick is a wonderful way to elevate your makeup bag. It's kind of a great way to add some vibrancy to your skin. It instantly peps up the whole look of your face and it does make your teeth look whiter as well. Top tip. Now, as we're talking about Meghan Markle and her favorite red lipsticks, we thought we'd add to you some other items that Meghan is a huge fan of. Now, Megan's skin always looks totally flawless whenever we see her out and about, and one of the foundations that she has been known to use before is by Pat McGrath. This is the Skin Fetches Sublime Foundation, and it is a beautiful product. It's a little bit expensive, but it's totally worth it because it is super watery in texture, but yet the coverage is brilliant, so it will cover up anything you've got, despite the fact that it does seem kind of really, really light, which is always good. Um, it comes in a variety of different shades. There definitely will be a right shade for you. And it's very easy to buff on. You just use a brush, gently push it into your skin and it will just give you a glowing look just like Megan. This is the Tartcha Rice Polish, which is actually a face exfoliator. Now Tartcha was mentioned on Megan's blog back in the day, which was called The Tig. She often mentioned some of her favorite beauty products before she met Prince Harry. And this was one of the ones that she name checked constantly. Um, it used to only be available in the States, but you can now buy it in the UK. And it's just such a clever, ingenious product for kind of getting rid of those dead skin cells, 
The formula is really different because it is kind of like a powder. So it's really easy to use. You just pop it on your skin, add some water and it instantly foams up and gets rid of all those dead skin cells. So I would thoroughly recommend this if you want a blemish free glowing skin like Megan. So these were Daniel Martin's favourite red lipsticks that he always has in his makeup kits. Which one is your favourite? Please let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.